here's an overview of the Open EVC open source EV charging station. Um, so we've got it installed here. This is what it shows when it's in a ready state. We can see it says L2, which means level 2 charging, 240 volts, um, as opposed to level 1, which is 110 volts, um, which we don't have here in the UK. And I've set, set the charging station to a maximum current of 32 amps, which is the maximum current that uh, uh, my charging cable here can carry. Um, that's actually my Nissan Leaf can charge at a maximum rate of 6.6 .6 kilowatts, which is actually 27.5 amps. So it's significantly under the 32 amps, but I've set the max current to be 32. Um, so that's what the cable can handle. So if another car, for example, a Renault Zoe came and plugged in, it would actually be able to uh, you know, take the full of 32 amps. And the Open EVC has been uh, wired in to um, an adequately sized RCB circuit breaker here um, by a qualified electrician and using um, you know, significantly large enough cable. So there we go, the car's charging now. And uh, it's charging at 28.6 amps. We can see the watt hours um, increasing. And if I was to press press that to if you wanted to pause you can hear the clunk of the relay switching off. If we go into settings when the car is charging, we'll see there's another option here that says charge limit. And uh, if we turn this on, we can choose how many kilowatt hours we want to put into the car before it turns off. This is very useful. Um, if you say just want a little uh, top up, um, don't want to charge the car to full, you can force the unit to cut off after say choose three kilowatt hours. You can see the top left hand corner a little uh, um, lightning bolt symbol to let us know that the energy mode is active. There's another option that appears when, when we are charging, that's called time limit. So here, it's for self-explanatory, we can say if I just want a quick 30 minute, minute top up. Um, there we go, we'll have a clock to say 30 minutes counting down. Again, it's very useful if you want to put in a small um, amount of charge, not charge the car. So my car is currently charging here, a nice 28, 28 amps. I'm just going to show you how you'd um, set a different charging current if, for example, you wanted to charge trickle charge from uh, solar PV during the day. A much better way to, to do this would be using the, um, the API, either by serial or by HTTP or MQTT by the Wi-Fi module. But if you did want to do it by the unit itself, um, it's possible. If we go into settings, that's just a relay turning off, and then set max current, we can force the max current um, to be low current UTC. This is why it's not good, much better to do it. Oh, I've just gone to past 6 amps. We'll go for 8 amps. So if I force 8 amps, now um, makes it set up. So you can see that it's 8 amps charging. Um, this will be 11 amps once uh, after the power's been cut. It takes a while for the car to um, come back online. So we can see we've put in a total of 167 watt hours so far during this charge, and 569 kilowatt hours in total. Um, so now the car should be charging about um, eight eight amps. Um, Yes, so if the unit, here it comes, 7.9 amps, perfect.
Now I'm just going to go through the Open EVCE uh, settings. It's obviously date and time, that sets the time and the real time clock. Um, set whether it's a colour backlight. We have got a colour backlight in this case. Um, set the service I'll listen important setting. Uh, we've got an option of level 2 or level or, or level 1, also auto. Um, but the auto doesn't uh, work in this um, these units um, since there's no voltage sensor. Um, so we want to make sure we have level 2 because level 1 is 110 volts and we have 240 volts here in the UK. Um, max current, here's another very important setting. You want to set this to be the maximum current that your um, supply or your cable can handle. Um, this OPVC has been wired in with an adequate supply. It's actually the cable that's the bottleneck. Um, it's, got, it's got a 32 amp cable. So we'll, we'll keep it at, uh, um, set the max current to 32 amps, which means the um, car is free to draw up to that max current. Um, if you want, you could bring that max current down temporarily. If you were, say, charging from um, solar PV, you could bring that uh, um, max current it max current like let's go through them all there we go you can actually set it to 6 amps or 8 amps if we just want the car to um, trickle charge from solar PV but a better way to do that is via the um, the RAPI interface via serial or HTTP or MQTT with uh, the Wi-Fi module. We'll, we'll come on to that. And then here is just a number of checks that you can um, turn off if required. Default is with them all on. I highly recommend keeping them all on.